The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. In this series, we're going to talk about knots to connect to your fly. The first one we're going to illustrate is the clinch knot. It's a very common knot and works for a wide range of applications. To start the knot, pass the tag in through the hook eye. I like to start by wrapping the tag end away from me. I'm going to go with fewer turns on this knot, so three turns. Pass it back through the gap that's near the eye of the hook. Grab the tag end, draw down as much slack as possible. Your knots are always going to have more strength when you remove as much slack as possible prior to tightening them. At this point in time, I'm going to lubricate the knot, get a good grip on this large diameter material, and draw the knot nice and tight. And you'll know you've tied a good clinch knot when this tag end comes off of the, uh, the standing leader material at a perfect 90 degree angle. I'll clip, clip that reasonably short, leaving approximately a quarter of an inch because of this large material to prevent it slipping back through. Uh, if you're using a, a smaller wire hook or a finer wire hook, I'll increase the number of turns to about five and I can trim my um, tag end a little bit shorter. That's the clinch knot. Here's the clinch knot tied directly to an actual fly. I've got a tag in that's a little bit longer, about a quarter of an inch, and I've got about five turns on this knot here. And that's the clinch knot. It's one of my preferred knots for dry fly fishing, small nymph fishing. It has a very small profile and works uh, great for a wide range of applications. The clinch knot. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 9.42 pounds, which equates to 89% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio, make the connection.